This is a tutorial on how to actually 3D print your models using our Dremel 3D printer, uh, which is the other one here that we've borrowed from the ISD. And so on this one, um, you have several ways of getting your uh, STL models onto this. You can download it from Google Classroom where we've turned them in. Uh, for the sample one that I'm going to print, I've already downloaded my SketchUp model onto uh, this computer, which you see right here in the desktop. And then I opened it up in SketchUp and exported this STL model. And so that's really the one that we want. If you hover over it, you can see that it says STL, and that is what we want to use. So I can go ahead and close this window out, and I'm going to open up Dremel 3D right here. And there should be an icon on the desktop. If not, you can go into the computer and find it. This is what it looks like. We're going to load our model, and I've got mine on my desktop and there is the sample right there that I'm gonna do and there's our model okay I'm zooming in by the scroll wheel if I use my right click um, on the mouse it allows me to kind of pan I can move them around by left clicking on it and so I'm gonna kinda of just print it up to the front a little bit so I use a little bit of the different size of the space there okay and so there we go we have our model set up Oops, I moved it then after I said that. And to do that, so I'm, this is a right click. If I hold shift and right click, then I can move it around so that I can actually zoom right in there and get a good view of it. Okay. Um, and now we've got all this stuff set up. We can do some scaling over here if we need to. We can click on this and it gives us all our scale options. We can rotate it by going here. We can move it around either by clicking on it or by using these things. Um, we can give ourselves some different views and things like that. But I'm ready to build this. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click on So I've clicked on build and now I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to save that to the downloads, which is fine. I already had one on there, so it just wants to um, go over top of it. You saw it right there. It prepared it and now it's sending the build. Okay. Estimated material is six and a half meters. That's of our extrusion line. The estimated build time will take about 46 minutes. You see our model that it's going to build. If when you go to print this, it drastically changes what this is going to look like, then something's gone wrong and we need to kind of fix that. But you see how this is going to work. Okay. It starts here and then it builds these layers up as it's printing and you can kind of play with this bar here until it is all finished. And then you are good to go on printing from the 3D Dremel printer. And so I wanted you to see uh, what the Dremel looks like when you have it turned on. The power switch is over here on the right hand side. Uh, this is what it looks like without any model sent to it. And so now I'm going to resend that uh, sample print so that you see everything start up here and get a feel for what it will look like on this machine uh, once we start printing, okay? And so then you see it start downloading the file right from the computer, and that's what it will show at first. And now you see here, um, it's telling you that this is what we're printing, sample 3D print. It tells you how hot the extrusion tip is. It needs to get to 220. It's at 128, 129, so on and so forth. And then once all that gets going, it should also eventually change what that 3D print time looks like. Uh, from our computer, it gave us an estimated time of 46 minutes. And so we'll see if that will update. Um, up here in the top, time remaining, it does give you a little bit of an estimate on um, you know, how much time you have left. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video now and then once it starts printing, I will bring you back and show you what that's gonna look like. Okay, we're back here on the Dremel 3D printer and you can see now that it's almost reached the temperature it needs. It's at 215, 214. Now 215 out of 220, and it said that it's only been added one minute, 45 minutes still remaining. And so this should start printing any moment here as this extruder gets warmed up. So the table's coming up, and it's basically getting ready to go here. And that is the beginning of your 3D print. It has started to go now, 
and we'll kind of maybe come back here in a few minutes once it actually gets some more printing progress going. Just a quick status update, trying to give you a little bit of a view in there, and you can see it's starting to take shape. It's filling in the bottom layer of the three-leaf clover there, and now it's moved over to do the base, the circle, and uh, we're going away. And so again, you can see that um, both pieces of the 3D model have really uh, kind of got going here. And down in the bottom right of the screen here, we can see that it's been printing for about 12 minutes and it's got about 41 minutes left, 10% through the print. And basically now all there is to do is wait for your model to finish up and then you're done. Uh, nothing else you have to do, you're just kind of waiting now. I guess the big thing I want to talk about here is the Dremel is different in a couple of reasons from our other 3D printer. The bed in the Dremel goes up and down. The extruder stays at the same height and the heat that it's trying to create for the table is actually from the uh, just overall heat contained inside the box. The bed itself does not heat up whatsoever. Whereas on the CR10, the bed heats up so that you don't have to contain the whole thing and kind of works that way. And so those are really the only differences. The CR10 usually takes longer simply because the bed has to heat up and that's the main difference. Update on the Dremel print here. You can see in the bottom right that we've been printing for 36 minutes and we have 13 minutes left. It says that we're 71% of the way through and you can see some pretty good progress on our pieces. Back at our Dremel 3D printer <clears throat> and showing you that we are 98% through. You can see in there that we're almost done. It says that there is under one minute left. So we'll kind of just hang out until this finishes up. Just putting the last touches on here. And our Dremel print just finished up. So I want to quickly show you how, um, at least how I take it out. Some people may try to work in there. Uh, that really doesn't, I'm not too interested in that. Right there I wanted to show you this little tab right there, okay. And so all I do then is I push down on that tab and I'm able to lift my print plate out of there. And I have a scraper right here, and that is how we are going to get this out of there. If you want to just get that little string off there first, get it out of the way, you can. Then I just work it nice and flat. Try to be careful with the tape. And our clover's done. And here's our base. And now our print is complete, okay? Had to do a little bit of work to get it to fit, but there you see our little game piece.